One of the biggest concerns about SHAP has to do with the package itself. It hadn't been updated in a while and the GitHub issues were piling up. To the relief of many users, contributors have become more active. In fact, they have given us new charts, the violin and heat map. Today, we're going to discuss these plots and what new insights into our models they bring. If you want the code for these plots, make sure to check out the article linked in the description. Also, if you want to learn more about SHAP, then wait until the end of the video. I'll explain how you can get free access to a Python SHAP course. So we continue on from a previous SHAP tutorial. You can also find a link to this in the description. To summarize, we built a model using the Abalone dataset. You can see examples of the eight model features, such as the weight of the Abalone shell. Our target variable was the number of rings in the Abalone shell. We use SHAP to understand how these model features we're contributing to predictions of the target variable. We explored various SHAP plots, and actually having an understanding of some of these is useful for understanding the new SHAP plots. The first is the mean SHAP plot. For each feature, this gives the absolute mean SHAP value across all instances, or in our case, all abalone in our dataset. Features that tend to make significant contributions to predictions will have high mean SHAP values. In other words, this plot tells us which features are most important in general. The other plot is the B swarm plot. This is a plot of all SHAP values. On the Y axis, the values are grouped by the different features in the model. For each group, the color of the point is determined by that feature's value. Now, let's see how the new SHAP plots compare to these. Our first new plot is the violin plot. Straight away, we can see that it is really just a different style of bee swarm plot. There is an additional style, the layered violin plot. With this one, the variation in feature values at each SHAP value is more clear. And so it may be easier to understand the relationship between these values. But really, due to the similarity, the insights we gain from the violin plot are the same as the bee swarm. They highlight important relationships as we can see which features tend to have large SHAP values. By coloring by feature, we can also start to understand the relationship between features and model predictions. Now, let's see if the heat map can provide more insight. There's a lot going on in this chart, so let's break it down. On the X axis, we have a tick for each instance in our dataset. The Y axis gives the model feature. The line above each instance is colored by the SHAP value for that feature. The F of X line gives the predicted number of rings for that instance. The bar on the right gives the mean SHAP values. These are the same values we saw in the mean SHAP plot. Like the B swarm, the heat map is a plot of every SHAP value. Except now, we focus on patterns between SHAP values and groups of instances. By default, the instances are ordered using a hierarchical clustering algorithm. But I found that choosing your own ordering is more useful for finding patterns, like this one, where we have ordered the instances from lowest to highest predicted number of rings. We can see some patterns emerging. See how there are two groups of positive SHAP values for shucked weight. We could also order instances by the values of one of the features. Here, yeah, we order them by the value of the first feature, shell weight. We can see that the SHAP values for this feature tend to increase with the feature value. The model predictions also increase. In other words, the larger the shell weight value, the higher the predicted number of rings. Personally, I'm excited to see these sorts of developments. More features and visualization options will be appreciated by the package's many users. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see in future updates. And if I'm honest, I'm actually very relieved that contributors have started to make updates. I put a lot of effort into a course based on this package. SHAP really is the most powerful Python package for understanding and debugging your models. Besides all the plots we discussed here, the course discusses SHAP code for categorical features, binary and multi-class target variables, 
and Shap interaction values. It also discusses the theory behind Shapley values. For a limited time, you can get free access. Go to the course page and sign up using this coupon code. You can also find a link to the course in the description. I hope to see you there.